I was taking these chairs. These chairs, I know it. Yeah, sorry. Just move these chairs. Why don't you back up a little bit? Let me get it in here. All right. What do you What do you think? All right, so that's definitely a completely different take on a pickup truck. It's obviously super sporty. I mean, just look at those wheel arches. Look at the clean body, the muscles in the front. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Look at that, those thin tail lamps, the lights here. I mean, this is just, I mean, it's, it's kind of really cool in my opinion. I can't wait to get out in this one here. Now, what, when we did this vehicle, by the way, we were thinking about... Pickup trucks. I mean, it's a super hot market. And, uh, you know, of course, there are some amazing full size pickup trucks out there. So we didn't really want to go in that market. We also figured out, you know, we looked into how are people actually using these pickup trucks. And of course, pickup trucks are getting used as pickup trucks, but they're also driven daily. A lot of people drive these cars to go shopping, to put the kids in school, or drive to work. So we wanted to have a pickup truck that had both the, the pickup truck efficiency and usability, but also was a great driver's car. You know, great road holding, great ride, fun to drive. And this vehicle is actually built on a platform we call the FT31, but it's really a modified stressed ocean platform, which means we can get this vehicle into production fairly quickly. Uh, it's going to be really dynamic, very responsive, with the convenience on a pickup truck. But we thought we got to do something really unique. So with this rear bed, we of course have sort of in this class, I don't even know what class this is because we didn't really want to follow anybody. So it's probably somewhere between a compact and a mid-sized pickup truck. And most of those in this class have like a four and a half foot bed, which we do. So if you open up the bed here electrically, uh, we, we then thought we got to find a way to kind of get a full size, you know, bed on here. And what everybody else does is you have to kind of order what bed you want. But we thought, no, let's have it in the same vehicle. So we actually have the Houdini trunk here in this vehicle as well, as well, where you can lower the entire area and then you can actually shoot through long items when you need. You can, of course, fold down all the seats. And in that, when it's like this, it's actually seven and a half foot long as a full-size pickup truck. So when you do need to go out and get your Christmas tree or something long, you can actually do that. And if you go all the way to the edge of here, of the actual tailgate, it's 9.6 feet long. I would say anybody wow. could fit in there and sleep, yeah. quite frankly. Yeah, so. amazing. So of course, a Fisker have to have four features. So this is one of them, but this will also be the world's most sustainable pickup truck. Again, a lot of use of sustainable materials and it will be the world's lightest electric pickup truck. The lightest. We expect a range of around 230 to 340 miles, which I think is pretty good. That'll give sort of the versatility of what you need in this vehicle. And of course, we also got some pretty cool interior features as well. And I'll come to this side here. You can Wait, just so stay in there and hold them, hold it. We're going to take off shortly. Just stay in here. We'll take off shortly. Okay. So I just want to show over here some cool things. We got like... Henrik, is there going to be like, you know, a California start? mode version for this? Like Yellowstone mode or something? No. something? So we have something else that's much cooler. We have big gulp mode. So if you see here, this is the world's <laughs> largest cup holder, which is really cool. And I'm going to have a little sip here. Yeah? Ah, somebody put vodka in. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. This Great. is water. This is water. Uh, so this is, this is, we did a lot of cool stuff in here. And coming back to sustainability, look at this really cool material here, if you guys can see it. Um, this is actually feels like a fabric, but it's actually reclaimed wood that's going under a special treatment to feel like fabric. And it looks like wood. It's really cool. And the whole theme in here is kind of like the forest theme, which, which I really think is cool. We also have here behind, I probably have to step out so maybe you can film it. We have here behind, maybe you can step out, yeah. So we have here behind, we have 
a cowboy hat holder. <laughs> so when you're, you know, you're driving, you want to just scoot that cowboy hat in here. I think that's a pretty cool feature. That's great. And then, you know, all pickup truck always have that sliding window. Now, if you have a large cap like this, you obviously have to have a super long arm to be able to slide it. So instead, of course, we have that ro screen that rolls down at the rear, which is part of our Houdini trunk, which really means you also get California mode in this vehicle, right. which I think is pretty cool. Now, all this together, uh, we are going to start the price with this vehicle at 45,400 before incentives and 37,900 after or with incentives. Right, amazing. And as I mentioned, we want to bring this out as fast as we can and grab part of this pickup market. And specifically in this market, if you think about it, how many sort of 37,000 electric pickup trucks is there that also have a possibility of a seven and a half foot bed? I don't think you can count any yet. Yeah. So because we are basing this a lot on the ocean, we can get this to market very fast. My people tell me first quarter of 2025, I've told them I need a truck December 2024. Wow. But, but I, get, I get this one, right? No, that, that's mine. Is I'm going to drive that home tonight. Right, that's yeah. I'm going to put the pan in the back. <laughs>